despite the fact that the contraction in Germany's uh, GDP was actually larger than the contraction in US GDP during the Great Recession, their labor market took a, a slight hit and then it's continued to improve. It was doing well before the recession and it's really continued to do quite well. Unemployment is down compared to US unemployment as everyone in this room knows. Um, our labor market is really hurting. And so the question um, that, you know, I came to this project with the question of, you know, what's Germany doing? right and what can we learn in the US um, potentially to borrow from abroad. This is sort of, it's a new perspective for me. I'm not a comparativist, um, but I came off of several years on the Hill working on um, stimulus, health insurance reform, and then looking more broadly at this very slow recovery we're in the middle of and feeling like the dialogue was really stuck. And so that was how I ended up turning to this German comparison. And what I found is kind of the top line explanation is German public policy um, embraces this uh, program that incentivizes labor hoarding. So it incentivizes companies to hold on to their employees, reduce their hours, but don't fire them, so that when the economy improves, you can ramp back up. And there are public policies in place in Germany, specifically um, this short-time compensation or work-sharing program, which essentially lets employers collect money through the unemployment insurance system that then is passed along to workers whose hours are reduced. So when workers' hours are reduced, their salaries aren't fully <coughs> cut back equivalently. So workers get some security and employers get to hold on to their employees.